much of a change, not any change at all in the starting lineup for the Braves. Jake Spindler will start at a guard position. Jake, of course, is a senior. The other senior starter for Cherokee, Adam Pitts, at the other guard. And Eric Wilkie at the wing. Eric is a, a junior. He's had a couple of good games here early in the season. In fact, all three good games. Zach Smith has been uh, shooting very well the last two games. Zach, a junior. And he's around 6'3". And Stetson Dago around 6'6" is the last starter for Cherokee and also a junior. So three juniors, two seniors for the Cherokee Braves here in the uh, starting lineups here for the uh, Cherokee Braves against the Cherokee. It's not that we don't like the band, but they are so loud that it's kind of difficult to hear you. A lot better than that. I'm, I know they felt this bad for Larry Weed to tell him that he was weird. <laughs> He'll come up here and give you a talking to. As we have the uh, tap with one by Western Christian. As they have Papa with the ball. They'll uh, work it on the left hand side to Feenstra. Back to Papa. Cup with dribbles to the right. Tries to go inside. Finally does on the right side to Bootsma. Underneath. We'll have a foul and a basket. Nice maneuver on the inside by Brady Bootsma. Six foot six senior. Don't get set to Dago in foul trouble. Mm -hmm. Took him 18 seconds. <laughs> Free throw is missed. And Zach Smith has the rebound for Cherokee as the Braves trail. Two to nothing. 7.35 to go opening quarter. As the Braves have it. Braves force way out of trapping defense as they trap the ball. They'll work left-hand side off to Adam Pitt. Tries to move in. Bring it back outside to Eric Wilkie. A couple of dribbles. Bounce pass will go in the corner in the middle of Jake Spindler. No good. Got good shot that time, but missed it. And there we go with some good size. A lot of 6'5 and 6'6 out there with some good athletic ability for Western Christian. From the outside, no good by Bootsma, but the offensive rebound picked up by Western. Outside, Popma misses from three. Another offensive rebound in his travel. No doubt about that. As we have Brady Bootsma take off before he put the ball on the ground. Ooh, a lot of people on both teams that have done that just kind of take off, take two little steps. Don't think they'll see him or what? I'm not sure. All right, they'll work it right hand side. Adam Pitts will fire up a three and mark it down. Cherokees at least had a lead one time. As they lead three to two, as Adam Pitts knocks down the three, there goes a three pointer from the corner. It is up and no good by Feenstra. Turnaround shot is no good. Tipped around and uh, Cherokee cannot get a rebound. And there goes the uh, trouble. Cherokee was fortunate there as Michael Den Herder tried to go back up after he got the offensive rebound and he traveled with the ball. Three to two is the score in favor of Cherokee at 624 to go. As we have Eric Wilkie with the ball, dribbles to the left, penetrates, goes up, misses. Justin Dago misses. Had the ball knocked away. Nice defensive play by Brady Bootsma. And here we go, driving all the way down is Fatma. Drives right through. No one stops him. Kyle Fatma with the field goal, putting Western up 4-3. to three. Two minutes into the ball game. Wilkie at the point. Will dribble and be trapped out front. Has it stripped. Braves having some trouble. And there we go with a shot up. It's blocked by Zach Smith. Missing the shot, Taylor Feenstra. Good job by Zach Smith there. Braves trail by one at four to three. Five forty to go here in the first quarter. In the corner to Jake Spindler. Fires for three. Well now, can you go get the ball? I want to see him get that one. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen that. All right. The ball went it and it's stuck. And here we go. We're going to have to throw another ball up. Or we're going to play another ball. No, there we go, and he missed the shot. Anyway, as he threw the ball up, wasn't sure. All right, you don't see that very often. J.D. Bohr, and he fires it into Kyle Popma, the sophomore. Cherokee trying to pressure out front and man to man. Nice move by Bootsma, puts it up and good. Nice spin move. Try and make that Brady Bootsma with the field goal, six to three in favor of Western. Five sixteen to go, opening quarter. As Eric Wilkie gets it outside to Jake Spindler. Underneath it goes Stetson Dago. Nice. Got to the basket. And Stetson gets the finish. Nice. Opening quarter. 
The free throw is good. So we're tied at six. Nice three-point play the old-fashioned way by Stetson Dago. Popma works it on the right-hand side, goes off to Van Manen. He'll go in the corner. He just came off the bench. He'll uh, drive in the middle, go up with a shot. Good. Thanks it off the glass. So Jordan Van Manen, he's a junior at six foot one, and it's eight to six Western at 4.45 to go in the opening quarter. Eric Wilkie tries to fire it in the corner, and the ball is kicked by J.D. Four. That's another thing we've seen tonight a little bit. A lot of kicking the ball, yeah. Not kicking on purpose, just the fact that trying to block the ball from where it's going. Right. All right. So we have Eric Wilkie with the ball. He'll go up for the shot. He'll travel. Couldn't really see that. We had uh, about three defenders in between us. But a travel against the Braves and the ball to be played in by J.D. Four. Braves with kind of token pressure as Kyle Fatma crosses over with a dribble, works it on the left-hand side to Feenstra. Feenstra brings it back outside, driving to the right. Now will put up a three from the right side. Good shooter. Taylor Feenstra drains the three. Good form. 11-6. Five-point lead to Western. 4.09 to go in the first quarter. Entry pass goes to Stetson Dago. Backs up. Gets it back to Jake Spindler. Jake tried to go inside. Ball knocked loose. And the uh, ball is in the front court. Bootsma, turnaround shot, no good. Battling for the rebound is Jake Spindler. Jake will slow it down here. Brave trail 11 to 6. Again, trapping out front. He'll go underneath. Oh, nice interception that time. And Stetson almost picked up another foul. Outside, three pointer is no good. Kind of short arm that one goes out of bounds. Oh, that wasn't good. I think it was going out of bounds anyway, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. It was fouled. However, he misses the free throw, and it remains 11 to 6. 3.28 to go, first quarter. Mark Huseman comes in for Cherokee. For Coach Ekoff, free throw is up and good. So it's 12 to 6. Western Christian, as Jake Spindler has it in the corner, gets it off to Adam Pitt. Adam with the uh, pass to Zach Smith. Smith, double team, back to Adam, it'll be Zach Smith putting up the shot, it's no good, and uh, I don't think there's any sense that Jake Spindler went flying, he was fouled by Adam Heinen, almost to the ground, as he'll play it in, get it outside to Adam Pitt, ball knocked away, oh that has to be a travel, you know it's one of those travels, that's a turnover where you say, coach, I really couldn't help it, I was sliding on the floor, but it had to be called. So Cherokee gets the ball back 12-6. We're at the three-minute mark here in the first quarter as Mark Huseman goes right side with a skip pass. He'll bring it back outside. His defense really causing the Braves some problems. They'll get it to Jake Spindler. Jake will drive. That's uh, too bad. He was fouled before he had a chance to get the basket. That's what you call a good foul. If you're rooting for that for after the basket, this he'll play it outside to Zach Smith. Zach with the head fake, will go to Adam Pitts, back it goes to Zach Smith, spots for three, no good off the back of the rim, ball knocked out of bounds, belongs to the Cherokee Braves. So the Braves to play it in, Jake Spindler has the ball, right in front of the scorer's table, and he'll get it out to Adam Pitts, and Adam works it off to Jake Spindler, he travels. Ball in. They have it to Popma. Braves drop back in their man-to-man. They'll go inside the boots, and that'll be a travel. No question. He moved before he put it down. Brady Bootsma, the senior at six foot six. Eric Wilkie. Wilkie crosses over. Goes up for the shot. No good off the front of the rim. Gets it back. Gets it off to Stetson Dago. Dago uh, short arms it, misses everything from about six feet away. And now it's Western off to the races. They'll work at left hand side, three pointers up and good. Nailing it again is Taylor Feenstra is second. As Feenstra a total of seven points in the ball game. Two minute mark, 15 to six, Western Christian, as we have it to Spindler. 
Sindler drives to the left, gets it to Stetson Dago. Dago goes up with the shot of the line drive. It looked like it was going to go in, but popped out. Needs to put a little bit more air underneath that one. Shot is up no good, but we'll have a foul call driving toward the back. We're still moving a little bit. There's the free throw. It's up and no good off the back of the rim. And he'll get one more. 15 to 6 in favor of the Wolf Pack. Next free throw is up. Good. 16 to 6. We have checking back into the lineup. JD4. And the ball's played into Eric Wilkie. Eric Wilkie crosses over with the dribble. Bounce pass goes off to Huseman. Huseman goes to Eric Wilkie. Drive. Nice maneuver. He's got the quickness, that quick first step, and banks it off the glass. 16 to 8 in favor of Western. We have Fatma with the ball. Goes inside, nice move inside, up, and no good. Missing that one was Dan Lerger and Cherokee with the rebound. Here's Huseman. Mark Huseman is fouled. Oh! That's too bad. Zach Smith. I don't think he was ready. He was ready to get the no, rebound. No, he wasn't. I thought he, thought he thought Huseman was going to go up with it. He didn't expect the pass. So work the uh, right-hand side. High post with the basketball. It's Den Herder with his back to the basket. Now in the corner. There goes a deep three. It's no good, but the long rebound comes up to JD4. Now we go Bootsma. Oh, nice move. One of the better moves you'll see. He fakes. And it's to the inside, spun around and banked it off the glass. He's had a couple of real nice moves there in the first quarter. 18 to 8 in favor of Western Christian as Zach Smith misses the three-pointer. And the rebound is taken off by J.D. Four. Four goes left-hand side. Three-pointers up and good. Taylor Feenstra makes it 21 to 8. 13-point lead for Western. As Eric Wilkie, let's see the Braves going for the last shot. Down already by 13 points. Wilkie drives to the right, goes up with the shot, no good. Rebound and a travel. 1.5 seconds to go. Does the Braves have anything in their possession? See if they get a shot off. As Eric Wilkie beneath their own basket gets it out to Mark Huseman. And they get a shot off. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I mean, that was from mid-court. The ball got away. He nailed one. Zach Nathaniel Morgan in the lineup for the Cherokee Braves here. As we start the second quarter, Braves <laughs> down by 10. Eric Wilkie has the ball. He brings it outside to Zach Smith. Gets it in the corner to Jake Spindler. In and out, no good. And the rebound goes to Eric Wilkie. Up and good. Boy, that was a good maneuver. So the Braves have scored the last five points. have cut it to eight. It's 21 to 13. Should be an over and back. Over and back on Western Christian. Jim Ekoff up and mad at his crew. 21-13 in favor of Western. Bounce pass goes to Mark Huseman. Mark gets it out to Nathaniel Morgan. Almost lost it. Turned around and threw it away. They'll work the left-hand side. Long two is put up and no good by Feenstra. And trying to save it, yes. Adam Pitts is able to save it. Gets it off to Eric Wilkie. Wilkie kind of deceptive there with his quickness. Kick balls tonight to last the season. Outside is Eric Wilkie. Eric goes for three. No good. Nice rebound by Stetson Dago. Has a block, though. And then Fatma will work it on the left-hand side. And the three-point attempt is put up no good by Feenstra. Good back is up and good again by Brady Bootsma. Bootsma with eight points in the contest. It's a 10-point lead for Western at 23-13. Driving to the right, Adam Tits will have it. Tits will go to Huseman. Huseman drives. And let's see, do we have a athleticism jump by his pass? Now he makes the point. He makes it. This one is up, and this one also good. So Mark gets both free throws. It's now an eight-point Cherokee deficit. 23-15 Western. Nice drive as they work the left-hand side to Feenstra. No good long-range three. And the rebound goes off to Adam Pitt. 
Adam out at the point, working against man-to-man. -man. Mark Huseman bounce pass at the high post. Eric Wilkie knows he's outmatched there, so backs it up to set off a set up a play. Nice entry pass goes to Mark Huseman, goes up the shot. Good. So just as I say, he doesn't look. He's got four points. Driving shot will go. Oh, what a play as he went up with his left hand. Kyle Fatma looked like he was going to use his right hand from the left hand side. Used the left handed hook and it's 25-17. Ball knocked loose, out of bounds. Off of Mark Huseman. Seth and Dago, Zach Smith and Adam Pitt. They'll work the right hand side. Bounce pass, knocked away. Good job, Cherokee, as they knocked the ball away. Jays down by eight with 5.27 to go here in the first half. Entry pass goes to Zach Smith. Turnaround shot. Gets it off to Seth Sandego. Nice interior passing. Actually, I thought Zach could have gone up for the shot, but he had Stetson about to say no good. It hit the heel of the rim, bounced up, and he got the roll. He has four points down by seven. It's 25-18. That one will miss. And battling for the rebound is off of Zach Smith. Ball to be played in by Western Christian. So the ball will be played in by J.D. Bohr. Cherokee with full court pressure. Zach Taylor is in for Cherokee. Adam Pitt coming down to Van Manen. Van Manen gets it up to Fatma. Fatma, the sophomore, will bring it out around the perimeter. Goes to Bootsma. Another travel. Sometimes makes that quick move. They're down 25-18. And they're working against full court pressure. As Adam Pitts does a nice job getting it across, he'll work the right hand side, gets it off to Jake Spindler. Jake, now they're coming out and uh, trapping. They don't always do that. Sometimes they're in the straight man to man, but now they're trapping. Ball knocked loose, out of bounds. Who did that go off of? I think Stetson probably touched the last. I didn't think he, he did. He, he must have. The official was right there. We all know that the officials are always right. <laughs> so there we go on the right-hand side. No one argued, so it must have been. They'll have it on the right-hand side to Ben Monin. Ben Monin will back it out. Driving into the middle and going up with the shot. No good for Dan Herger. There has to be a jump ball in there somewhere, Steve. <laughs> It's getting to be a pretty good five foul. Six, uh, that's right, five or six on the ground. Western Christian. Still 25-18 Western. As the ball will be played in. And going after it was Zach Taylor. Couldn't quite get there. There goes a drive to the basket. That'll be second foul on Justin Dago. After this shot, though. you make that free throw? Yes and just made the second one. So two free throws up and good that time by Michael Ben Berger, and it's 27-18. Jake Spindler works the left hand side to Eric Wilkie, dates it off to Stetson Dago, puts it up no good. I think that landed out of bounds, didn't it? I think it did too. <laughs> they didn't call. Let's see what happened. I thought it hit off the black line, and then Cherokee tried to do it. Probably worth watching exactly where it landed. There's Bootsma, and he will left uh, Oh, nice pass. He passed it off. Cutting that time was Jordan Van Hannen, and it's now 29-18. So four quick points for the Wolfpack, and it's up to an 11-point lead. As they'll work right-hand side to Jake Spindler. Jake brings it back outside. And the goal is the by Eric Wilkie, misses, and then we'll have in the open court by Manan, as it knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of juniors for Cherokee, as they get on the right-hand side. With the ball, is JD4, and there goes Fatma off the glass. He banks it off the glass from about eight feet away on the drive, and it's 31-18, Western Christian, 3.09 to go. Here in the first half, Spindler has it out to 
Zach Smith goes to Jake Spindler, drives, goes up for the shot, no good. And the rebound goes off to Western Christian. The open court is Fatma. He'll get the ball back. He'll work it around the perimeter. He'll work it off. He'll go to Bootsma. Bootsma will run in the middle. Got that quick first step. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. The score. Western Christian on top. Free throw no good off the back of the rim. The heel. And it stays 31-18. 2.41 to go first half. All in to Eric Wilkie. Wilkie drives to the right, gets it off to Adam Pitt. Adam brings it back to Mark Huseman. Mark goes to Adam Pitt. Adam brings it back to Jake Spindler. And Jake, they'll go inside to Stetson Daigle, turn around, hook shot, no good. Offensive rebound to Mark Huseman. Knocked out of bounds, still belongs to Cherokee. So, boy, Mark can really get up there, can he? Pass, as we well know, good track athlete. They get it outside. It'll be Adam Pitt spotting up, no good. Going after the rebound is Fatma. Secondary fast break. He'll work it on the right-hand side. They'll bring it back out. Now spotting for three. That is up and good. It's Michael Ben Herger, and all of a sudden, 10 straight points. And it's 35-18, Western Christian, 159. Games on the internet at kcheradio.com. Set to go here with 159 to go in the first half. It's 35-18, Western Christian. is Eric Wilkie. Setting a screen out there is Mark Huseman. Then they get uh, Jake Spindler open. Misses off the heel of the rim. Ball thrown away after the offensive rebound by Stetson Dago. Then they'll bring it outside. Fatma will drive. Dish it off. Nice dish out there. Banking it off the glass is Jordan Folkert. And the score goes to 37 to 18. Western Christian in the lead, 119 to go, and Mark Huseman foot flies a little bit, traveling a call, and Michael Ben Herger. And they'll get it off the dribble that time is JD Four. Now brings it back outside four. They really like to shoot those threes as they'll uh, go inside, inside outside game. Fatma drives, puts it up, no good. Offensive rebound, nice block that time by Stetson Dago. Good aggressive block. Eight seconds to go. And there goes the uh, turnaround, it's no good. And the rebound to Cherokee, 43 seconds to go, first half. Last 12 points scored by... Western, they've broken the game open. They lead 37 to 18. Jake Spindler will go. Zach Smith fakes the three. Goes in the corner to Spindler. Puts it up. It is good. Jake Spindler on the left baseline gets his first basket. And it's now 37 to 20 in favor of Western. As they will wait for the last shot as they have JD4 with the ball. <laughs> Puts it up. It is no good off the front of the rim, so it worked out for Cherokee. Adam Pitts has to realize there's not much time left. Forced it up, does hit the rim, but doesn't go in. So the score at the half is 37 to 20. A 17. I haven't seen him up there tonight. But if you look at for you up there in the upper level here at Washington High School. Eric Wilkie gets the bounce pass off to Adam Pitt. Adam drives to the right. And let's see. Push off. Who's the push off on? Well, I don't know. It couldn't have been Adam Pitt, was it? I don't think so. It's uh, the third foul on Zach Smith. Oh, no. That was away from the ball, so I really didn't see it. As they'll have the uh, ball on the outside as Western Christian has the ball on the perimeter. They're playing with it as Fatma has it. Gets it outside to Den Herger driving. That time, uh, again, 
will be Wilkie. So again, there's the free throw up and good. And there'll be one more free throw attempt. It's up and good. 39-20 is the score. Eric Wilkie drives to the right. Now brings it back to Spindler. Ball intercepted. And the shot will be missed, but I think he was fouled by Eric Wilkie. That's true. Eric's picked up two in about the last 30 seconds. But here's the free throw. It's up and good. 40 to 20. And one more free throw. And up and good. 41-20. The play is down by 21. Jake Spindler has the ball. Go against man to man. He'll work it to Zach Smith. Head fake. Goes up for the shot. Nice aggressive move. Misses. It goes back and gets the foot back. So Zach now with five points. And then we'll get it outside. Again, the three to Dan Herger. Good. Outside, Michael Dan Herger had plenty of time at 6'4". Puts it up good. And needless to say, he puts enough arch on it, doesn't he? <laughs> he did. From where I was at, it didn't look like he was going to go in. And it made it. Just barely made it. Takes a while to come down. They'll go cross court. To Eric Wilkie. Eric drives. Goes up with a shot. Knocked away, and the rebound taken off by Den Herger. They'll work the left-hand side. Now they'll work it on the left baseline to Bootsma. Bootsma drives, goes up good. Bootsma makes it a 46-22 game. Outside Eric Wilkie. Wilkie drives to the left, goes up with a shot, and it's no good. Rebound to Fatma. Fatma has the ball. Tries to get it on the left-hand side. Off to his 46-22. Has the ball to be played in by Kyle Fatma. They'll work it on the uh, left-hand side. In the corner shot will be put. This one's off by Dan Herder. Had the arch on it, but you could just tell he going to hit the iron on that one, and he did. And the Braves have the rebound. Jake Spindler has it. Drives to the right. Now he'll bring it back outside to Eric Wilkie. Eric brings it back to Stetson Daigle. Braves trying to set something up against the man-to-man. -man. And uh, really, I don't think Mark Huseman didn't throw that one back. He threw it back. It clearly had been knocked in the backcourt by Western Christian. He went and uh, threw it back, and it was intercepted. But Western did not complete the uh, get a shot off, and then Eric Wilkie would be fouled. I think Eric Wilkie. Eric gets it off to Mark Huseman, to Adam Pitt. Almost made it off the front of the rim and thought maybe it might fall in. It will be played in by the Braves. It's Wilkie gets it off to Stetson Dago, cuts across, missed it off the back iron, and now that is not a smart foul. Stuck his leg out. And so the ball will be played in by Western Christian. With the ball is Kyle Fatma. Fatma works it on the right-hand side to Van Manen. Drives. And they'll work it. The three-point attempt will be up and good. We'll have a four-point attempt. Fatma hit it. Eric Wilkie with a foul, so Eric has three fouls in this half, four overall. Went after the three-point shooter, fouled him, Fatma made it anyway. 49-22, to 22. this one really getting away from Cherokee. That one is good, and it's 50-22. to 22. 4.45 to go. Jake Spindler crosses over, works it off to Eric Wilkie. Underneath it goes to Stetson Dago. Gets it out to Jake Spindler. Jake drives the right baseline. No good. And the rebound is hauled off by Western. It'll be Taylor Feenstra. Feenstra drives in the middle. Puts it up. Uh -oh. He is quick. And another field goal. 52-22. Braves down by 30. This reminds me a lot of the girls game. 
team just keeps slipping away. Eric Wilkie drives. Nice patience. Good drive. He waited there uh, for a pick, and he went uh, with the left hand, and it's 52-24 in favor of Western. Boosema puts it up. It's tipped around. Putback is up no good. Mark Huseman goes after it. Good hustle. And <laughs> I'm hard to describe it. Cherokee came out with it. And a foul down before Eric Wilkie went at it. Just kind of tipping the ball. And Cherokee came up with it. With several players falling on the floor. As Mark Huseman gets it off to Zach Smith. He'll go in the corner to Jake Spindler, and he has a slot right back in his face. Nice block on the play that time by J.D. Bohr. Bring the ball out to Justin Daigle. Justin's not used to having the ball there. They'll bring it outside to Jake Spindler. He'll be fouled and shoot two. So we'll get to see Jake go to the line, dribble with the left hand, and shoot with the right. That's Western Christian. Free throws up, and good. Gets the roll off the front of the rim. Zach Taylor comes in for Cherokee for Adam Pitts. And one more free throw attempt. Free throw up, and good. So it's 52-26. In favor of Western, 3.23 to go. They'll work the left-hand side, the three-point attempt is up. And no good that time by Heinen. But the offensive rebound is kept alive by Vanderstuff. Vanderstuff. And the shot is no good by Heinen. Tips around and Mark Huseman has it. <laughs> he got the rebound. And it'll be... Jake Spindler with the ball dribbling. Bounce pass goes to Zach Taylor. Does Zach go out of bounds? Or is forced out of bounds? Or is foul? Fouled, I think, yep. There is a look by. And Zach Taylor brings it outside to Zach Smith. Zach works the left hand side to Mark Huseman. Off to Zach Taylor to Zach Smith. Back it goes to Jake Spindler. Zach Taylor throws it away. And here we go with the easy layoff at the other end for Jordan Van Monnen. And it's 54-26 in favor of Western. 2.25 to go here in the first half. Lob pass out front to, boy, that is a long one. As we have Zach Smith firing a long three-pointer. And the rebound also comes out long, so the Braves get it back. Zach Taylor, you know, he did travel, but it was almost like the uh, whistle was before he traveled. He heard the whistle. <laughs> There's the shot up and no good. Zach Taylor has it. Gets it off to Jake Spindler. Jake, 2 one to go in the third quarter, 54-26. And Zach is fouled and only once, 54-26. And Zach Taylor will play it in, gets it into... Jake Spindler. And now again they show that zone where they come out and trap. Man to man most of the night as they're working on the right hand side to Jake Spindler, just trying to throw Cherokee off and another travel. And the ball is played in for Western Christian to Fopma. Fopma works the right hand side. They'll go high post to Bootsma. Bootsma, there he goes with that patented move. That's a really good move. However, he got whistled for a... He wasn't fooled, really, on that He play. wasn't fooled, and it was kind of a... It was a left-handed hook, and it went in. And it was kind of marginal about whether or not it was traveling, I thought. But takes the ball. attempt from Mark Huseman. It's up and it's good. Mark got the stroke going here. And it looks like a 30-second timeout for Bob Lee. 54-27 in favor of Western Christian. 122 to go. Here comes the free throw attempt. It is up and no good. Steve Casey missed on that one. Mark 
that with that pop up. Gets it in the corner. Take a dribble out. Get it off to Fatma. Fatma gets it out to Busma. Busma now brings it out with the basketball with Steenstra. And they have another travel. Busma, what, four or five times traveling? Yeah, at least four or five times. I mean, that time he well, had an easy wasn't, layup. It wasn't his fault, kind of. <laughs> kind of uh, out of stride, out of rhythm. There's no doubt about that. So a different zone as they move it out. Kind of like a 3-2 or a 2-1-2 two, two, as they extend their defense out and meet the Braves. Ball goes out of bounds, still belongs to Cherokee. In the middle it goes to Zach Smith. Back it goes to Adam Pitts. He'll have the ball knocked away just because of the high. Oh, nice steal by Adam Pitts. Good job of recovery. And he'll uh, dish it off inside to Zach Smith. Misses. Nathaniel Morgan goes after the rebound. Bootsma has it. Court. Have it off Dan Herger. They have it outside. Now they have it off to Bootsma. Bootsma works his right-hand side. Braves in man-to-man. -man. They're waiting for that last shot here of the quarter. Down to 11 seconds to go. They want to get the last shot. 54-27, back it goes, and the three-pointer. That's perfect timing. From the right-hand side, it's put up some good that time. With the three-pointer, it is Michael Ben Herger. He has 13 points. Glimpse of spectacular beauty at Roadside Blooming House and Cherry. KCHURadio.com Western Christian with the ball, playing it in, leading by 30. And Boots will work it off the right-hand side. We'll have a two-point effort in 7.49 to go. Free throw is good. 58-27. And one more free throw attempt. It is up and good. With both free throws, 59-27. Set the Dago in the lineup for Cherokee. 7.49 to go here in the basketball game. Jake Spindler will work the left-hand side to Adam Pitt in the middle. Oh, nice maneuver as they get it off to Stetson Dago. Good passing that time as Dago gets the finish. It's 59-29. Ken Herger works it. They'll get it in the corner. Now they bring it out to Fatma. Fatma works it off to... Goes off to Bootsma underneath. They'll bring it back outside. Left-hand side, Fatma thought he was going to shoot a three. Gets it off, and here goes Bootsma faking the three, driving to the basket up and good. Bootsma, now a total of 15 points, and it's 61-29 in favor of Western. Still coming out to meet Cherokee trapping. The ball will be thrown away, and with the basketball is J.D. Four Gets it on the outside. Here goes a three-point attempt, and it's good. It's a 35-point lead, and we'll see if Steve Casey can watch this clock continue to run, even if the ball goes out of bounds. Should have that coming your way here. 35-point rule in high school boys basketball. And there goes deep in the corner, and Jake Spindler, no good, tipped around, who's got it? And it'll be on the court, and then Herger has it. Still on his knees, gets it out to Bootsma. Lob pass. Goes on the right-hand side. Good teamwork as they get it off on the left-hand side. Good passing. Brady Bootsma gets the uh, basket ultimately. And he was the one who threw the good pass originally. And then 17 points for him. Mark Huseman misses. Knock out of bounds. And it belongs to the ball. Uh, let's see. It's a clock 29 is the score. And they throw it into Van Monen. Van Monen, left-hand side. They'll work it out in the lineup for the first time. No, not for the first time. He's in just a little bit in the first half. Brendan Vanderstoop. They'll work the left-hand side now. Ball knocked away a little bit out of the hands of Jordan Coker. Driving shot will be up and good. Nice maneuver that time 
15 points for Michael Ben Herder. Does most of his damage from the outside, but that time it's a driving shot off the glass. 68 to 29. Right hand side it goes to Cincendego. Ball intercepted. Ben Herder goes up for the shot. Good. It's a layup drill right now. 70 to 29 is the score in favor of Western Christian. And we have on the right hand side nice maneuver by Eric Wilkie but can't get the finish. Banks it off the glass. And looks like what have we got? Right, here comes the uh, ball being played in. We're down to 431 to go in the ball game. 70 to 29. As they will uh, bring it out. And we have to check and see who that is called on. That'll be the second foul call on Brandon Vanderstoop. Down to the four minute mark to go in the ballgame. 70 to 29, Western Christian. As we have Eric Wilkie, nice maneuver. Gets inside. 70 to 31. 353 to go. Driving to the right with the ball. They'll get it off to uh, Vanderstoop. Now going up with his shot, Bokert, and he'll be fouled. Go to the line to shoot two. Puts it up. In and out, no good. Stage in for Cherokee for the first time. And the free throw, no good. Rebound goes to Nate Seliger. Gets it off to Jake Spindler. Throws it away. No, it's knocked away. Here comes the free throw attempt. No good. Offensive rebound is put up no good by Vanderstoop. Now a battle for the rebound. Volkert, now they'll go around the perimeter. And a three-point attempt is up and no good by Van Manen. Van Manen. And it'll be just about 10 seconds to go. Maybe a little less. And player got fouled and he went to the line. By the time the official got the ball to him, he couldn't shoot the free throw. Game was over. So that free throw is put up no good. 41 seconds to go. 70 to 31. And a collision there. Nothing called. Kind of had to be something called there. <laughs> Folkert with the uh, basket. I think it'll count. Let's see if he can get it in before the clock runs out. Gets the free throw. I think he's got time. 72-31. 73-31, not much time for anything else. 73-31 in favor of Western. Down to 10 seconds to go, continuous clock. Austin Winchell has the ball for Cherokee. Ball knocked loose to Zarr. Back to Winchell, puts it up, no good off the front of the rim. That ends the game. Western Christian 73, the Cherokee Braves 31.